Hello my soccer universe. Um, after doing the league A uh, jersey video I realized well I have in principle enough Eredivisie teams to also make a video for them. Yes it's just seven and that's why we changed the perspective a little bit that it will get a little bit tighter around here once I fill it. But yeah I think seven teams is enough for a video. Eredivisie teams are really hard to come by here in Austria unless you want to spend a whole lot of money. Money that I don't have at the moment at least. So yeah, uh, it has been over time, mostly at first Ajax, because that was A easy and B, uh, you know, when Ajax was a great team when I started becoming a fan, so therefore Ajax, Ajax, Ajax. I'm wearing the Feyenoord, because at the moment I really like what Feyenoord is doing, and having the former last captain is definitely a big uh, part of that as well. So yeah, call me weird. In the Netherlands, I would probably get a lot of confused looks at the moment. So I'm gonna do it as always. I'm gonna show you a few, uh, a one shirt for each team from the Eredivisie collection. Seven teams, seven shirts. We'll start with Herrenwein, which is all the good things that I like about Dutch uh, shirts. There are a few really unique designs and this is one of, uh, of them with the blue and white stripes. And then the, yeah, those are unfortunately not hearts. Those are lilies in there. I got this, I think, from vintage football shirts. Um, I like the shirt. The only thing that really annoys me, and the shirt is not complete. There's this big box here. Why is it? Uh, because there's the sponsor back there. So this is a this is the one thing that I don't like about the shirt. But I really want to have a hair and vein jersey because it is one of those iconic Dutch. Uh, jersey designs and I love it. It's a Jakko shirt, so all fine with that. Next up is another team that has been doing uh, quite well recently. It's an old jersey, but it's exactly the design I was looking for. Utrecht. It's kind of a reverse Monaco design and uh, funnily enough, I packed it together with the Monaco shirt, which you can see here and next to each other. They really look uh, like they're made for each other. What I like about this one is that there is the Utrecht Cathedral Tower on the bottom. Uh, that makes it really nice. Don't care too much about the sponsor. It's a really nice Hummel shirt. It's the, it, the crest is very nicely done. And on the back there's also quite some stuff to look at. I mean, there's um, of course the main sponsor, but also the three crests of the teams. That combined to make FC Utrecht, I think in 1970. Yes, it says here since 1970. Again, red sleeve here white sleeve here it makes a whole lot of sense and i as i said i love touches like that of like putting a cathedral tower there i'm still thinking of getting the black away jersey that has a similar design kind of to complete the set it's a really nice shirt the most recent jersey in my dutch collection is of course twente their last maber shirt which goes back to a design that they used in the 70s when they made it all the way to the UEFA Cup final, which they then ended up losing to Gladbach. Um, I wanted to have a Maber shirt with 20. Unfortunately, not being with Maber any, 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 anymore. Uh, it was cool. I mean, yes, of course, you would like to have a Barca shirt from Maber, but that's a whole different level. But I really love to have Maber, 20 crest. I love the design. It's not a plain red shirt, which you so often get. And you know, most Dutch jerseys are red and white at the moment that I have. Uh, it's also here same sponsor on the back which has this kind of nice environmental feel to it and of course the horsey as well my girls of course love it it has also uh you know it says here 20 on the fc 20 on the back and then it has one white stripe taped on which is kind of a little bit weird but yeah take it okay next up is a z and yeah this was a story it is also not your plain red shirt that you would get because there's a little bit more going on but it's not your classic uh z uh, jersey this one is from the 17 18 uh, season the home jersey which i saw uh on sale on Sportspa, and i said yeah i gotta take this one uh, what i didn't know is that under armor bruce is really 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 tight shirt while this is normally an xl this it fits more like an m should have gotten one size up. I was thinking about it and then it was already sold, sold, so sold out. Now, I really would like to have the one from the 1920 season when Lusk played and eliminated them from European competition. I would love to have that jer uh, jer jersey. I also, will, I also saw 
some of the ones from you know when they were really good one winning championship that actually also looked nice with like white sleeves uh, which would make it again a little bit stand out but this one stands out as well with the two tones of red and then the gold uh, going through so in that sense it's not so bad it's not so bad it's an that jersey it's useful so there you go and then we're already coming to the three big teams and I actually had a bit of pretty bad season so we'll start with them I have a few really nice shirts from the 90s however I'm gonna show you the most recent uh, home jersey that I have here which is this rather uh, remarkable shirt from the 21-22 season using the old style crest I love the thick collar it looks so much 70s also the slightly thinner stripe this looks way more Ajax than what they have this season and yeah if those three stripes were white instead of silver this would complete a perfect look but even without this is as good as an Ajax jersey you will ever get I would say I this was a no-brainer for me to get it and then they were wearing it without names just a number was thinking should I get a number back down but then in the end I only had the chance to get it blank but yeah uh, it's in the, the three stars or the three X's in there which stand for Amsterdam it's a gorgeous shirt I gotta say uh, very very retro I loved it when it came out I was contemplating whether I shouldn't show you my PSV away jersey but I said nah this is my first video so we go mostly with the home shirts and that's why I also went with the uh, Ajax home shirt so I have this PSV home jersey from the 10-11 season. Uh, I think this jersey is actually really, really cool. I like actually first off that, that it's uh, striped. Um, and then the slight checkerboard pattern within the stripes look really, really cool. It still has the Philips sponsor. Uh, it is nicely accentuated in black. And it came also with a number, Strutman. Strutman. I guess uh, what I don't like is that I washed it and then the sponsor kind of said oh no this is a little bit too much so the sponsor is slightly ruined but other than that I'm quite pleased with this shirt I think with that it's almost becoming a museum piece in a way so yeah I mean PSV of the big three was always the one that I honestly liked least so uh, there's not too much reason to wear this however I have to say this is a pretty awesome shirt uh, I really like the striping and you know you see on the sleeves this is how you do it Nike knows how, how to do it not with the raglan sleeves uh, yeah my PSV shirt home shirt as you can tell there's a lot of red and white going on here and with me wearing the 2021 Feyenoord home jersey in addition it doesn't get better but you know Feyenoord is the next team you see one jersey here I only have them in the away jersey because the other home jersey I have meanwhile sold and there it's well doc documented my struggles of finding a nice Feyenoord jersey but this away jersey here yes I would like to have a green one to be honest but when I saw this one I said oh this is actually pretty cool this is from the 1819 season I actually like this Adidas template quite some uh, because it has this kind of fade in fade out checkerboard pattern and I really like that they take the red and the white here to kind of mirror the red and the white on the home jersey and uh, it blue it looks actually quite cool uh, it is a blank it's an L you see here the green and white here and why that because those are the colors of the city of Rotterdam and that's why I really would love to have also a green uh, Feyenoord jersey they had some qu quite nice ones as of late but yeah those are the the two Feyenoord jerseys are currently in my collection and I said I would love to have one with Traun on the back and last season shirt was just awesome but yeah I hope you agree it looks now a little bit better with the blue shirt up there but yeah these are the seven Eredivisie teams I have in my collection what it annoys me is that there's a whole lot of red and white Vitesse is definitely a team that I'm looking into uh, and you know there might be others that would be interesting. I think Nijmegen has a very interesting color combination as well. Uh, fortunately I'm not in the Eredivisie right now but William Dwey is one of those teams that is also very very classic Netherlands and yeah let's see where it goes. Uh, as I said I've if something big happens, I love to follow the Eredivisie, but it's not like the uh, like it's the first league that I'm going to follow. But I think they have quite some collectible shirts overall. Any case, let me know what you think about this small collection. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.
Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.